Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Ray Luna. For today's reading, we're going to be looking at a love letter from your person along with messages from them based on tarot. So for the first letter here, we have the letter with a red stamp with flowers on it. And then for group number two, we have this letter with the pastel green stamp and people holding hands on it. And for group number three, we have this blue stamp with a bird on it. So I want you guys to choose what letter and what stamp here is calling out to you. And once you have decided, head to the description or the comment section and click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. I hope you guys enjoy this reading and enjoy this love letter along with the rest of your messages. Welcome to your reading group number one. So let's open up your letter. Okay. Okay, so we have Dear Group One, looking up at the expansive night sky, I think about the dreams we have yet to reach together. In my stillness, a dazzling twinkle catches my eye, and I am reminded of you. Is this my sign a celestial force is bringing us closer? Could it be the magic of the universe? You are the star who is radiant, ethereal, and bright. Your existence is an illuminating light that gives me hope to continue on through the darkness in life. You bring me a sense of serenity, alleviating my anxieties through even the most challenging moments. In your eyes, I find a reflection of the universe's endless possibilities. You are my North Star, a constant guide providing me a source of inspiration to handle the ups and downs in life. Your love is a healing balm that soothes the wounds of the past and nurtures the growth of a beautiful future. In your warm embrace, I find refuge where doubts dissipate and I know I'm on the right path. With every beat of my heart, I celebrate the constellation of qualities that make you uniquely you. May our love continue to shine brightly, defying the darkness, and may our journey together be as timeless as the stars that grace the night sky. For now, excuse me, for now and always, your person. So that was your letter, group number one. And now I'm going to shuffle some cards and see what else is coming for you. Okay, so with these cards here, group number one, we have Justice, the Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Lovers, Wheel of Fortune, and Ten of Wands. So based on your love letter, that love letter was channeled with the Star card. So that is the overall energy of the messages from your person. So not only do you give your person healing energy, they will give you healing energy. So in this relationship with your person, it's going to be something that both of you guys are constantly feeling like you're healing, you're being elevated, you're supporting each other, it feels right. So this person really cares about you. But I also think too, not only is this star talking about metaphorical, like healing, togetherness, it's also talking about a literal representation of the star so either you or this person could be really well known you guys could be in some type of spotlight and we get that too with the six of wands here um the six of wands is kind of correlating with the star um talking about being seen in some way or also this could be like you and your partner your person seeing each other for who you really are I think this will be a really good love relationship. I think if you guys don't already know this person, when you do, it's going to be a really good relationship. And if you already do, this person cares about you immensely. Like, I feel like this is this person's best relationship. You're their soulmate. You're the one. 
So I want you guys to feel happy whether or not you know this person yet. This is a relationship that's just going to elevate your life as a whole. I also feel like with justice, your person wants to let you know that they want it so that things are fair for you. So if something happens to you, um, you know, at work or going on throughout the day, like you're running errands and someone is rude to you, someone tries to um, not treat you fairly, your person is going to go out and defend you. They're not going to let you be mistreated. Or if you're out in public and someone says something to you, your person will go over and say something instantly. So this person has your back. They want you to know that you can trust them. And I also feel too with the Ace of Pentacles, this is someone, this isn't just talking about, okay, you guys will have money. This is talking about being able to build something together that is secure and stable. So you and your person are going to have either a really nice house, a really nice place to live that you guys worked hard to save up money for. Um, because as we see here in the Ace of Pentacles card, look at that like castle looking building there. Okay, like you're going to have your castle, your fortress where you guys feel safe and comfortable together. But this is through hard work. We see with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Wands, your person is willing to do the hard work so that you guys can flourish and have security emotionally and with money as well. Like you're going to have a nice place to live. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be seen. You're going to be heard. Your person overall wants you guys to feel like you can open up about anything. You can trust them with anything. Like they have your back. They're not going to let you like be defenseless. They're not going to let you struggle alone. They're going to share burdens with you and they're going to make the effort through like love, support. They're going to make the effort to change your burdens into something that can be a blessing instead. We see that here, the lovers, wheel of fortune, 10 of wands, using love to transform difficult situations into blessings and more blessings. So this is really awesome. So now I'm going to put down some more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have overindulgence, swinging, kisses, and wheel of change. So, what I'm seeing here with overindulgence, I actually think um, one thing about this connection with your person, this person cares about you a lot, but sometimes, like, let's say if you want more independence or you need a little space. This is something your person wants you to tell them directly because I feel like your person does give so much support. Like at times it might actually be like too much support. Like they are caring too much. So I don't think this person is unhealthy for you, of course. I just think there are times you might need a little bit of space. You might need a little bit of a break or your alone time. So I feel like this person really loves to spend time with you. So like if you ever need that space, your person is saying, hey, just tell me because in, in their own opinion, the, they'll always choose to spend time with you. <laughs> like they prefer to be with you than be alone. But if some of you guys need that space, that's absolutely okay too. Just be direct with them. I also see here too with swinging, um, even though this card doesn't have the best definitions. I actually don't think that applies here because of how positive the energy is. I feel like this person is like giving you a chance to sit on the swing and push you. And then once you're done and once you're done your turn, they get on the swing and then you push them. So this is a relationship that's very like supportive this person always wants you to feel secure and they're willing to listen to you. So like, if you don't like something, speak up. Don't feel like you can't trust this person. Don't feel like 
you have to hold yourself back. Your person wants you to know, like, if you need me to change things up or if you want a turn on the swing or you want to push me instead, like, just let me know. Kind of adding on to that overindulgence message. I also think, too, that this person, like, depending on if you guys already know them or you are currently waiting to know this person, um, with kisses, I feel like your first kiss was very memorable or it will be very memorable. So, like, you could be at a special place or, like, the scenery is important to you. So, like, let's say if you have a favorite a favorite place to go, like, maybe you're going to a concert for your favorite band. You could kiss this person at that place. Or you have a favorite museum. You could kiss this person at that favorite museum. There's something like the place you guys first kiss is really important or very memorable. It becomes a cherished memory later on once you guys are together like for years and years if you haven't met them yet or if you are with this person. There's something about that kiss that was really special, okay? And with Wheel of Change, see we have um, previously the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like your person is someone who will or has brought tons of change in your life. So this person's transforming everything for you. I also think it's possible with your person, you guys might have to move or go someplace completely new. But since you have each other, since you do a lot together, it's very supportive. It's basically like, it's not even a challenge. You're really excited to go someplace new, build things together different than how it was previously. Um, and overall, I just feel like this person is going to be really supportive with making your life better. Like this feels like a really healthy relationship. Like I can see you guys being together for like 50 years. I can't imagine you apart. That's what it feels like. So now I'm going to put down some more cards. I'll shuffle them and see what else comes through. Okay, so with these last two cards here, we have strength and sincerity. So what I'm seeing here is that this relationship will give you a lot of strength and it will be and it will be very strong because of the sincerity that is involved. So like you have very true feelings for this person, they have very true feelings for you. So it's like through thick or thin this person's by your side. I feel like you guys will be able to tell this person like your secrets and like even if you guys weren't together, um, obviously I don't see this happening or once you're with this person, I feel like it will be a long-term relationship, right? As I previously said, but let's say if something were to happen and you couldn't be together or you did split up, like you're still not going to tell each other secrets. You're still going to trust each other. Like, this is a connection where you're able to tell this person things you don't tell other people. You can trust them no matter what it feels like. And no matter what happens, it's like you're not going to betray this person's trust. They're not going to betray your trust. It's very through like no matter what happens, you're going to be there till the end. And even if things didn't work out romantically, it's like this person's not going to do anything to you to hurt you in that way because they still... They still truly care about you and have cared about you. But I do think you guys will be together for a long time because of these two cards here that indicates this is something that lasts a long time. And intuitively, as I said, it feels like you guys will be together for like 50 years or longer. Um, so I do think this is something like no matter what, there's just trust there that makes it so you guys can fix any issues that occur and be happy together. So that was your reading group number one. I hope you guys liked it. This is something a little different today. So I hope you guys really do enjoy it. Consider liking the video, subscribing, hitting the notification bell if you haven't yet. But I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number two. Let's open up your letter and see what it says. Whoops. Okay. 
So it says, Dear Group 2, Every day I find myself more drawn in to the enigmatic aura that surrounds you. There is more to you than meets the eye, and this makes knowing you all-consuming. In the back of my mind, I hear your alluring voice and words echo. A sage who nurtures the world with their intuitive wisdom, you are like the high priestess. In your company, I have discovered how beautiful the silent understanding between two souls can be. It is as if the universe has chosen you to elevate us all spiritually through a language unspoken. Energy bends to you. You do not bend to energy. You are true and passionate within our emotional connection. In this space, both of our vulnerabilities can be embraced in the depths of our beings laid bare. Your character of generosity makes you someone who is always willing to give love and support. Your actions, your words, and your presence bring me stability. As we continue on this journey of life, I find solace in this sanctuary we've created with our love. Together, we have a place to rest, filled with comfort, to handle the challenges we may encounter. With love, your person. So that was your letter group two, and now I'm going to put down some other cards and see what other messages we can get from your person. Okay, with your cards here, group number two, we have the eight of wands, four of wands, seven of swords, the emperor, the magician, and six of wands. So... Before I read these cards, your letter was based off of and channeled off of the High Priestess card. So you guys are someone who your person finds mysterious, very intuitive, attractive, alluring, and there's that overall energy here from that letter, from the High Priestess, that your person feels from you. So I feel like at first... Um, when you're with your person, if you haven't already met them, you guys might start off where you're not talking to them as much. Okay, you might be more reserved compared to them. Or if you already know your person, it could be they're someone who is a little bit less mysterious than you. Okay, and with your cards here, I feel like with your person, this is going to be a quick moving relationship you're going to quickly start off being maybe more reserved compared to them they're going to probably quickly try to pursue you and find out more about you but I feel like this quickly leads to something very happy here with the four of wands so this is someone I definitely can see you guys getting married quickly so like um obviously like everyone gets married at different times but I feel like you'll marry this person like in a short span of time so like maybe some people wait years and years but you might marry this person within like two years a shorter amount of time compared to your friends or your other family members who are married i also feel like this person will protect you from like if you guys have any weird or strange exes with the seven of swords i feel like this person will protect you from people from your past who try to come up into your life again. I also feel like this person will protect you too because with the Emperor card, this is someone who uses the power they have to look over other people. But unlike an Emperor and a subject, you know, this isn't the dynamic of your relationship, of course. It's like you and your person are going to be controlling things together. You're going to be using your powers for good um, in your lives and trying to create your, your desired reality here with the magician. So maybe you and this person will co-create together. Maybe you guys have a shared vision. Once you become a little less mysterious to this person, you learn a little bit more about them. You guys have something that you can build off of and you just become closer and closer. I think there's something here as well. Like maybe with your person, there's some type of traits or attributes you guys have manifested for your person. Like maybe you always desired someone who is a little bit more bold or out there compared to you. Maybe you want someone who's more 
like forthcoming because you guys had the energy of the high priestess, right? So maybe you guys are going to be balanced out or you wanted someone who had some different attributes compared to you so that it makes things easier for you. Um, with the seven of swords and the emperor, it's like this person comes in and helps you with things you find challenging and you can help them balance out as well with whatever it is they have difficulty with. I feel like your person with the six of wands feels very seen by you. So maybe your person also wanted someone like you because they feel like they're able to be more of their true self with you. They can be more vulnerable. So even in this person's past relationships, I feel like they haven't been as vulnerable or they will not have been as vulnerable as they as they have with you. Like you're someone they have trusted more. They feel more comfortable with than anyone else they have known. Um, so they might have wanted someone like you to help them feel more balanced, feel seen, feel heard. And in your letter, there's a lot of there's a lot of descriptions of someone who can just pick up on things and just knows things. So this person really needs someone like you and you really need someone like them so that you guys can have harmony in your own lives and you make each other's lives better. So I'm going to put down some more cards and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have beauty, water it, love offers, and distance. So what I'm seeing here with love offers I want to start off with, I previously felt like if you guys have any like crazy exes or, um, you know, just people who keep trying to go back into your life doesn't mean they're crazy. But I feel like for some reason you guys keep attracting people from your past. So this person, your person is really going to stop these people from trying to come back into your life. <laughs> so if you deal with anyone like that, like congratulations, you're not going to have to deal with that with your person. They're going to help you out a lot with that. I also feel here too, that for some reason, like when you're with this person, I feel like this person could be very attractive. So one thing you have to not worry about is like being jealous or being concerned because this person is going to be truly loyal to you. You're not going to have to worry about this person going with other people because they're attractive or they get a lot of options in love previously before they met you. This person's only going to choose you. I also feel like, um, once again, like this person will help you with any previously with any previous love difficulties. So like people trying to keep messaging you like this person makes it. So there's like a boundary around you, not in a toxic way, but in a way it's like you're being protected and you're shielded from people who want your energy um, in a way that's like too, too much, too demanding. This person will help you with that. I also feel like this person thinks you're very beautiful. So maybe there's a way that you guys style yourself or you have a unique feature. So this could be like you guys have really beautiful eyes, you have really beautiful lips, you have a very beautiful like hairstyle. There's something about you that makes this person really attracted to you. So not only is this person really attractive, you too are also very attractive. So maybe people, when they see you guys together, people are kind of stunned or they're filled with awe because like you're a beautiful couple. Or if you guys were to have kids, it's like, oh, you're a beautiful family, people would say to you. With water it here, I feel like this person thinks of you guys as a refreshing drink or like you're quenching their thirst, like you're helping them feel refreshed in some way. So maybe compared to the previous people, they were with, it's like, you guys are finally it, of course, because it's your person, but it's like, this person is counting their blessings here with count your blessing. Like, they are very grateful to have someone like you in their life. They feel like you're someone who not only they're going to be loyal to you, you're also in for the long haul. You're going to be there to help them out. They're going to be there to help you out. 
But with water it too, I feel like this person is pouring water into your cup as much as you're pouring water into theirs. So there is a balance here. There is reciprocation here, which is really awesome. Like this is a very positive reading. Like so far, all the readings are positive, which I love. Um, I also think this person's going to come from a distance. So this person could be from a different country than you. They could be from a different part from where you live if they're not from a different country. I also think it's possible this person or you could have a job or you guys can do something where there is occasional times you won't be able to see each other, but you guys have trust or you know this person isn't going to do anything to, to break that trust, right? So you can trust this person to go away for two weeks. They can trust you to go away for two weeks for your job. So I feel like there's going to be times you guys have distance, but you're still going to do a lot to keep the communication going and you're going to be really happy still. It's like there's not even going to be a distance when that happens. It's like they're right there still. So now I'm going to put down a couple more cards. I'll shuffle them and see what last league wants to come through. Okay, so we're closing out the reading with serenity and love for a love reading. So yeah, like this person is really going to be someone you feel the feelings of love with. So this person's going to make you really happy. I feel like this is someone like, let's say you come home from work. This person, like both of you guys are going to do chores together so that you have tons of time left to spend doing whatever it is you want, going out to dinner, playing a game together, um, biking together, doing something together where you just have um, quality time. Like this person will do a bunch of stuff. Like this person will do a bunch of stuff to get quality time with you. And I feel like the time you guys spend together is like serenity. It is a peaceful place where you both feel supported, you both feel loved. And this makes it so not only are you fulfilled romantically, you and your person are going to always be feeling like you can do whatever it is you want in other areas of life, like your career, with your family, maybe just your own passions, um, you know, outside of career, like just whatever you like to do for fun. Like you're going to feel like you have so much more to give to yourself in the world because of the positive energy you guys are both supplying each other through this love connection. So that was your reading group number two. I hope you guys liked it. This reading was a little different than the ones I usually do, especially with like the shuffling on here. I usually don't do that. I pull um, separate and then I'll show on camera, right? So let me know if you guys like it. Consider liking the video, subscribing if you haven't yet, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos like this. But I hope to see you guys in the next reading and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number three. Let's open up your letter and see what it says. Okay, so it says, Dear Group 3, While dealing with an unfortunate set of circumstances, you have been a strong catalyst for much-needed change in my life. Knowing you has shattered the illusions of the past I used to hold and has allowed for forward movement, now that the foundation has crumbled away, I see how ruins can be constructed into a formidable tower. You have also experienced shocking and stunning upheaval in your own life. Both of our paths have been improved by sharing a resilient love that stands defiant in the face of all opposition. We might not always be accepted by the world's standards, but we fully accept each other. I have learned after destruction comes the promise of rebirth and renewal. With you, I find the strength to construct a new love that transcends the limits of our past and grows into a bountiful future. Our love is not defined by the crumbling bricks of yesterday, but by the magnificent people we have decided to become today. Our story is all about evolution, like a phoenix rising from the ashes to live a new life. We have used the seismic shifts we experienced 
to create a love that defies expectations and stands resilient against the test of time. I am truly grateful the universe brought you into my life. Forever yours, your person. So that was your letter, group three, and now I'm going to pull some tarot and get further messages for you. Okay, with your cards here, group number three, we have the star, knight of pentacles, four of wands, strength, the hanged man, and the six of swords. So before I read these, based on your letter, your letter was channeled with the tower tarot card. So what that means is in the overall energy for this reading, a lot of this is about how you and your person have overcome a lot your person has changed their life completely because of meeting you like the tower, you have transformed their life. So after they had some time dealing with difficulties, a lot of destruction in their life, they met you and that helped repair their life. Um, and I feel like you guys have a similar story or you and your person have went through a lot together. Um, I mean, not together, but like previously before you were together, you went through a lot. So now it's like when you are together, you're even stronger and you have someone who can relate to you and see how far you have come. You can see how far they have come. It's something where there's a very strong connection because of your past experiences that you each had individually. And now going forward in the future, there's a lot more to be had. So with the star and the knight of pentacles, I feel like after this person has met you, it's like you have healed a lot for them. You're kind of like someone who's guiding them to be a better person, to have a better life. Maybe this person, when they met you or when they will meet you, depending on whether or not you have met them yet, it's like a reality check for them. They're like, oh, like I have to do so much more. I have to do so much better. Like this person levels up for you. They overcome difficulty because of you. Again, like once again, because of that shared experience, they feel like there's someone who understands them. They have a reason to continue to improve now. And with Knight of Pentacles, I also feel like this person got a lot more money. They got a new job. Maybe they started working in a brand new, a brand new field after they met you. And this gave them a lot of money to have more security of mind, like their own mind got better because of the improvements with their job and career. Or this is like you haven't met them yet. I feel like if you have met them, you and your person have a really nice time together with the four of wands. You want to start a family with your person or you will start a family with your person in a really nice place. So I feel like you guys could live someplace near the water or you want to move someplace that if you were to have kids, it's like really safe for them. There's like good schools. There's something where it's like your kid will be getting like really good life exposure. Like they'll be able to play outside and they'll be able to go to a good school and make good friends, something like that. I also feel like you guys with the four of wands, you found home together. Because with the letter, it seems like both of you guys went through challenging times, especially your person. So now it's like you're able to build your home together. You're able to build your four of wands, that place you feel comfortable, that place you feel safe. And you're able to finally like enjoy life together. Um, there's something here where it's like you both helped each other um, be pulled out of a struggle or a difficult time. So... If you haven't met this person and you're going through some difficulties, like keep an eye out because you could meet this person when both of you guys are having some difficulties or it's possible if you're fine, you meet this person um, when they seem a little down on their luck, but things will quickly change once you guys are together. It's like you both feel comfort, you feel support enough to change your lives or to have that motivation to put in, a, in another job application and it changes your fate. There's something like that here. It's like, um, 
both of you guys are each other's second chance. And we see lastly here, because I don't want to keep saying the same things, with strength and the hanged man, six of swords, you're moving away from all that. And I feel like this hanged man is being like burdens a lot, having a lot of difficulties, having to sacrifice. You guys together move away from that and make it so, you know, it's sacrifice to paradise. Like you're, you're getting something much better. You and your person are making it so any difficulties will be moved away from. And, li and like the letter says, like a phoenix born anew, you guys are, you're having your like, your come up story, your glow ups, like you're doing it together. So that's really cool. So now I'm going to put down my next set of cards for you guys and see what else comes through. Okay, with your cards here, we have Ascending, Commitment, Sexy Lover, and Tied Up. Look at that, Ascending. So it's like, yeah, you guys are leveling each other up. You're glowing up together. Like once you guys are together, um, it's like you both get more good looking. You both get more money. Like things just happen when you're together, you attract much more abundance in all areas of your life. This is definitely someone who's going to marry you with commitment, taking it to the next level, getting engaged, ready for a life partner. So this is someone who is serious about you. Um, they want you to be serious about them. But I also see this too, like this is someone who wants to like retire with you <laughs> for some reason. That's what I'm imagining. Like you guys have a lot of money together and then you just live out your golden years in retirement, having a good life. Of course, you can do this before, you know, your retirement age or you're older. Um, but this is something like that's what this person is envisioning for you guys. Like they want to have a good life when they're older and they want to prepare for that uh, money wise. So you guys don't have to suffer in your older years or, you know, you guys made it so... Um, you have a safety net in some way. This isn't for everyone, but if some of you guys are an older person watching this, this is basically saying like, if you haven't met this person, you still have time in your golden years to have this person who wants to commit to you, or there's still someone out there who could be your pairing if you feel like you haven't met your person yet. So that's a message of encouragement to some of you guys watching this, or this could be something you're currently living out. Um together with your person and your golden years doing what you want. But I want to put that message in there for those of you who feel like you haven't found your person yet and you feel like, you know, you feel like time's running out or you haven't had something, like there's still something here for you guys, okay? And with sexy lover and tied up, I feel like this person, um, I feel like this person is really attracted to you so you guys will have good chemistry here like it says in the card. I also think um, maybe you guys go on like a lot of romantic getaways together or like it's kind of like you're going on trips but it's always like a honeymoon type of thing I'm picking up. This person also likes to travel a lot. Um, doesn't matter like whether you're younger or older, this person wants to go places. So that could be something interesting about them. I think the only problem with this person is with tied up. I think this person might like to take more control in the relationship, but they're not against you speaking up. I think you guys just might be like, um, with this person and the dynamic, it might be like, you have to speak up if you want more control. I feel like this person likes to like have a handle on everything. They like to do a lot. So I don't think this person's doing it in a toxic way. Of course, this is your person. Um, I feel like this person just might not know like when to stop. Like they might try to do things for you. They might try to surprise you, which might be nice, but there's times you might want to be like, hey, like maybe I can have more of a say in this or I can do more. And they're like, oh, okay. Like I didn't realize I was like <laughs> overstepping things or doing too much. So this person doesn't do it with negative intentions, but they like to, they like to take action and do a lot. Okay. And sometimes that leads to them doing too much for you. So you have to be like, hey, I want to do this. Okay. And they will listen. But overall here, like there's really strong attraction and 
you guys will have lots of fun together and you'll feel fulfilled in all areas of um, like a relationship, like money, um, the physical connection, emotional connection, like everything is solid here. So I'm going to put down my last two cards for you guys and see what else comes through. Okay, with these cards here, we have compassion, wisdom. So what I'm seeing here, um, I don't know, for some reason I pick up on someone like older. So I can't tell if some of you guys watching, you're an older person, or maybe one of you guys in the relationship is a little bit older than the other, or like there's some type of wisdom you guys share with each other that just makes things better. Like you've been there, done that maybe because of your person and you, your past experiences, you guys have a lot of wisdom. So you know things to avoid in the relationship that could bring difficulty or you guys have compassion towards each other and you use all your knowledge to, to do whatever it is you want in life, of course, right? So there's something here where it's like you're smart or you're more mature or your person is more smart and more mature in some way and this just makes life better for you guys. And if this is the case of someone who's older and you haven't found your person yet, I feel like it's going to be like once you find them because you're both older, it makes the experience like better than if you were like younger and you found your person. If that makes sense, that message keeps coming through for some reason, but I don't feel like it's for everyone. But overall, this is going to be a relationship filled with passion, compassion here. Um, and it's going to be filled with like lots of understanding. So like this is someone you can kind of just look at them across the room and you both understood like what your look said, right? So this is that type of bond, that type of connection. It's going to be really great, you guys. So that was your reading group number three. I hope you guys liked it. This was a little different than how I usually do my readings with like the shuffling on camera, the letter. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you do like it, consider liking the video, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos like this. But I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye.